Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 19th, 2019. Well, my goodness, um, normally we have a market that just kind of rests and kind of coasts as we move toward an, an FOMC meeting, but we have some very feisty bulls out there and they choose to just want to go up. So let's take a look. Uh, diamonds here yesterday, four day, four day um, uh, rally here moving um, right into this price resistance and this morning it looks like we're going to gap right up to that maybe even over that um, at the open today so those bulls are just really really feisty here just pushing really hard they staged a late day rally yesterday and as you can see we kind of chopped around most of the day really didn't do a whole lot and then there toward the late part of the day really started to pick up and and go and now this morning um, all kinds of bullishness coming into the market this morning really wanting to push higher so uh, diamonds looking pretty pretty darn good now let's keep in mind let's also remember that we have a significant level of resistance right here so even though we might break above this level there's still work that has to be done here in the dow to uh, really move us through those areas but um, the bulls are really trying to push hard um, on these levels so watch that closely now the other thing we have to pay attention to as we gap up on a morning gap gap into um, um, resistance area we have to watch for the possible pop and drop that pop and drop is one of those patterns that looks very similar to this we gap up in the morning and immediately find sellers and start pushing it back down. So one of the things we want to do and one of the things I want to caution you on this morning is not to chase the morning net gap, not to get all wrapped up in the in the drama of the morning chasing into the market thinking there's no possibility that there are bears up here, but that's how they set up these big old bear traps and we end up seeing sellers come in. So what do we want to do? We want to wait. We want to be patient. We want to wait for that morning open to occur and then we'll follow if the bulls actually respond higher so here's an example this is a 15 minute chart gap up let's wait and see if the bulls actually step in to push the market higher after the gap we don't have to chase in we don't we want to be really really careful not to uh, jump into that morning gap only to find sellers okay and we've seen those several several of those here um, in the recent past just as a reminder, there's one of those gap up opens that found nothing but selling um, after that gap up. So we want to make sure and be careful of that as we approach those resistance levels. So be careful not to chase into this morning move. Let's wait and see if uh, the bulls will actually follow through. Now, if they do follow through, let's you know continue to party with them. We've got some great positions on that are making great money. Let's continue to party with them. But always remember um, our one of our favorite friends phrases um, hit run candlesticks and right way options is that gaps are gifts and if a market gaps up it may be a perfect opportunity to take some profits so think about you um, unwrapping some of those gifts and taking them to the bank uh, if you're feeling uh, just a little bit uh, over long or just want to take some profits um, in your account let's take a look at the spy real quickly spy spy doing very very well pushing up um, through these resistance levels here this morning this gap up will completely breach uh, those resistance levels pushing through as long as it, that bullishness continues to hold we we'll want to keep in mind that we have additional resistance levels up here that we still have to challenge and it's possible that we could just be moving up to challenge those so watch that closely but breaking through this top right here pretty important and it looks like we're going to complete that uh, this morning with a real solid push into the open so watch that closely again we want to make sure that we don't 
uh, jump into a, a pop and drop type pattern. But as long as those bulls follow through, we're in pretty good shape here and looking good. One concern I do have is that we're kind of up um, several days in a row here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days up um, here in the SPY. And anytime we get five to seven days in a single direction, I start getting concerned about the possibility of a pullback or at a minimum a consolidation. So watch that closely. We're reaching out here pretty strongly in the market and we may have stretched this just a little far. So watch that close as well. Let's take a look at the cues. NASDAQ also responding higher this morning, popping through those resistance levels as if they aren't even there. Moving on up, we have a another su um, substantial resistance area right in here on the chart and we're gapping up toward that this morning. So we'll wanna watch that up there again for that possible pop and drop. And here again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in this streak uh, to the upside. So we wanna be watching for the possibility that some profit taking could come in on this gap up open. Watch that close this morning and be careful not to chase. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM holding up pretty darn well yesterday. Looked like we at one point were going to uh, slip below had kind of a shooting star pattern there at one point, but that end of day rally really helped this improve quite a bit. And now this morning, we're gapping up this morning, back up in here to test this level of resistance. So we'll wanna watch that closely today. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX started to, started to climb a little bit yesterday, but um, that late day rally really change things here on the VIX and you can see pushing us back down. Now this morning's gap is likely going to move us lower here in the VIX as well. Fear dropping out of the market. We'll want to watch that closely though this morning if we happen to find some of those sellers, if we happen to get that pop and drop pattern. A little bit of fear could creep into the market so let's watch that. Now we have plenty of resistance above. If we start moving up, you can see we could respond to this level of resistance right in here. We could re certainly respond to this level. There's a little tiny level of resistance right here and then the major level of resistance right here. So even if we start moving up, we have some protection um, on the fear here. And um, if we start rallying through there, it won't be a problem. You guys remember, you know, I said when the market had this little pullback that we had, that the big worry would be if we moved above that level and held it as support. And obviously that didn't occur. So once again, that would be the same thing. If fear comes back into the market, the real problem will occur is if we get up here, hold it as support and move higher. Until that occurs, uh, fear seems to be um, dropping out of the market pretty substantially and and almost to a point where I'm worried a little bit about complacency that we've that we're getting a little bit complacent here in the market but we'll just have to watch that closely um, as we move forward let's take a look at t21 22 t21 22 is the four week new high new low ratio and as you can see we're pushing back up here toward this bearish reversal zone but the good news is we still have room to move up and with this gap up this morning i'm i it's just a guess but i'm guessing we're going to gap up into this bearish reversal zone or be very very close to that um this morning so we'll want to watch that up here again um just maybe getting a little bit carried away here but we'll wait and see um, the bulls have been relentless they just want to go higher they have uh, no desire uh, to move lower so if we push continue to push higher here well we do have the room to the upside also keep in mind t21 22 is telling us we have plenty of room to the downside if some sellers start to come in so keep an eye on that let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Um, economic calendar doesn't have much on it other than we have the FOMC meeting starting today. Um, there is a red book report. We wouldn't expect that to do move the market at all. And then we have our factory orders. Now factory 
orders can move the market, but I think um, with the way the current market is is uh, dealing with things, we'll, we'll largely ignore um, that. Of course, uh, tomorrow is the big day. Um, tomorrow is when we're going to get not only the FOMC announcement, we're, but we're going to get their f uh, the Fed forecast and the chairman's uh, comments or conference. So we'll want to keep an eye on that tomorrow. Um, and honestly, I'm a little bit surprised to see this much bullishness ahead of the FOMC. Even though the FOMC is, is largely expected not to change interest rates, it's the F FOMC forecast that will be um, the, the market mover, depending on how they see uh, themselves moving forward. Of course, that is a complete unknown, and um, so I'm a little bit surprised to see the market acting quite so bullishness or bullishly um, ahead of that. But you know, if the bulls want to stay bullish, let's stay bullish with them. Let's move with the market and keep moving uh, on up, collecting some of those profits. So having said that, uh, I want to uh, thank everyone for watching the video this morning. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that follow me button on Facebook. Make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, I do these videos not to make money. These are truly an attempt to help other traders uh, do a better job with their trading. I've been trading for nearly 30 years, uh, 14 years full time and I just I wanted to share this information um, with uh, folks out there to help them do a better job of preparing for the day you know one of the things that's really important is uh, is not to rely on luck um, you know preparation is far more important than luck so if you spend just a little bit of time in your preparation and thinking about how you should approach the market for the day you'll be in a better mindset to make good quality decisions about your trading so if you find this useful please make sure and um, click that subscribe button and also you know leave those comments and click those thumbs up buttons you guys are awesome for doing that thank you so very much i truly truly appreciate it so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up now remember um, when i talk about uh, potential stocks here the, these are not recommendations to buy or sell these are just simply ideas uh, charts that could be setting up things that you might want to put on your watch list for your evaluation to decide whether or not you like um, how that stock is coming together one would be ea ea i've mentioned a couple three times um, at, at least and ea has been moving in this trend and what happened here that made this really interesting is ea had a, a bad earnings report and gap down and as you can see that was completely rejected by the buyers they just pushed that thing right back up we had this resting period where we pulled back held price support and just slid sideways over here toward the trend. Now, yesterday you can see, tried to push down, we ended up with a little bit of a hammer pattern here in this chart. You can see where I've placed a, an alert and it looks like this morning we could be gapping um, just slightly above that area. So EA could be set up and one that you want to put on your list and keep uh, an eye on. Another one would be Walmart. Walmart. Um, made a nice move yesterday. You can see I had an alert in here. Walmart made a nice move popping up. Now, this has got some challenges yet to deal with. Um, 100, the price 100 is a natural resistance level. So you'll want to watch that as we approach 100 and we're very, very close to 100. Keeping in mind that we broke this, this downtrend, or excuse me, this uptrend, we did hold support here. And if we rally up to that, we could see that 100 area or up in here as that resistance. So watch that close. Also, there is the larger overall downtrend in Walmart that we have to deal with. But beautiful price pattern here uh, for some more upside uh, potential in Walmart. And that's looking pretty good, at least at the moment. Um, also, take a look at STX. STX, really nice price action yesterday. I like the fact that um, we popped up and pulled back, held support, 
and now we're showing some bullishness here now don't be too surprised to see this maybe consolidate still over toward that trend but that's looking pretty darn good here and uh, may have some opportunities for an upside move home depot is one i'm really keeping an eye on here home depot uh, had a bad earnings report and the stock pushed back down into this support area but notice since we've been down here in this support area we've pretty much put in a double bottom type pattern here and trying to push through with that hammer little follow through um, yesterday and this morning I'm seeing a little bit of a gap up here in Home Depot we might want to keep an eye on this now what I would probably prefer is that we move above this support level prove that we can hold it and then see buyers stepping in if that were to occur I'd probably be all over Home Depot uh, but watch that one closely uh, in in this chart um, another chart you might want to keep an eye on is MDLZ MDLZ is one of those defensive companies and you can see after failing back down through this price support we drop back through we've recovered that strongly so any rest pullback consolidation anything in here that provides an opportunity for an entry may be that nice shot to uh, move MDLZ higher so one to keep an eye on so so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and please do me a favor click that subscribe button click that thumbs up buttons click uh, you know leave a comment make sure you click that bell icon when you subscribe so that you're notified when i uh, post these videos everyone i want to wish you all the best today and if you're struggling as a trader please Please, um, I want you to understand that you're not alone. There's a lot of folks out there struggling and, and struggle for a long time as traders. I was one. I struggled for years and years um, as a trader until it finally started to click and move for me. So the important thing is to just keep working hard at it, not to give up. Remember, there's no plan B when it comes to um, your dream in becoming a full-time trader. Just keep working forward. Uh, work hard at it continue that practice continue that price action work and it will eventually pay off in a tremendous dividends everyone take care of yourself have an awesome day we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning take care now.